Virgil van Dijk's prime has been overrated and talked about way too much, as though he's the only centre-back to get to the level of being top three in the Ballon d'Or in their prime. Someone like Baresi was top three best player in the world in his prime. You have somebody like Beckenbauer that won the Ballon d'Or as a centre-back. You have somebody like Cannavaro that won the Ballon d'Or as a centre-back. You have someone like Vidic that was the Premier League player of the year as a centre-back. So this is not something that has happened once in a generation whereby a centre-back has been top three best player in the world. No. In fact, in Beckenbauer's time, he was a top three best player in the world multiple times. In Baresi's time, he was a top three best player in the world multiple times. We're talking about players that went up against the superstars like Roberto Baggio, that went up against people like Maradona, that went up against those kind of players, and yet they were top three best players in the world. We're talking about a Beckenbauer that was able to stop total football and stop Johan Cruyff in the World Cup final and put up the best centre-back performance in a final that we've ever seen. So yes, Virgil van Dijk's prime was special. Yes, Virgil van Dijk did a lot of crazy and wonderful things and we appreciate all he did and everything like that and he lost to Messi by just a few points. But the truth about this is this. That is not the greatest prime we've seen in football as a centre-back. And at the end of the day, when you look critically at it and get to analyse the fact that he has not been at the top for a long time, like these Baresi guys that were at the top for 10, 15 years, like Sergio Ramos that was at the top for 10, 15 years, that you, have, you have someone like Beckenbauer at the top for 10, 15 years, you have Cellini, you have Bonucci, you have Barzaghi, you have Puyol. You, these were people, Herrero, these were people that were at the top for longer than Virgil van Dijk. And at the end of the day, he is not a top 30 centre-back of all time because of longevity at the top. And based on prime, he doesn't have the top three primes of all centre-backs ever. And as much as we appreciate all he has done and appreciate the fact that maybe he reformed the new style of centre-backs in terms of playing football, he is not just at the level of the greats.